To travel now, the island of Ireland is known as the Emerald Isle. It has a unique Irish charm that stays with you forever. Now, I got to fill my heart with Ireland, along with our travel presenter, Debbie. Here is just some more of what we saw. The beauty of this coastline is world-renowned. Sensational soaring limestone cliffs and black volcanic rock. In between are the windswept beaches and today we're going to fill your heart with Northern Ireland's Causeway Coast. We're starting right at the top. The Giant's Cross was actually 66 million years old and it was formed during the Jurassic period. And what actually happened was everything happened on the seabed. So we had a shift on the plates and lava actually flowed up from the bottom of the sea to the top of the ocean and then what happened was they actually cooled and when they cooled they formed in the shape of a hexagon. Some of the stones are like five sided, some are actually six sided, there's some seven sided and in fact we have a nine sided stone in Nonagon. Now the nine sided stone has a special name, it's called the keystone and they say locally if the keystone is ever removed from the Giant's Causeway, the Giant's Causeway will fall into the sea. So we actually keep the keystone a little bit of a secret but if you do find it, you can more than welcome to sit on it, make a wish, as we say in Ireland. If you make any wishes in Ireland, they'll all come true. There are 40,000 of the stones at the Giant's Causeway and they're made from basalt. And basalt is one of the hardest rocks in the world. When you see the stones, they are covered in a white substance. And that white substance is called lichen. And lichen only grows in 100% pure air. So that's another reason why people like to come to the Giant's Causeway. They can come here, fill their airs with good Northern Irish air and take it all back home with them again. This is a spectacular drive along almost 200 kilometres of undeveloped coastline to the walled city of Londonderry, where Mel and I are taking a walking tour. So we're now on our beautiful city walls. These walls are 400 years old. They started to be built in 1613 and they were completed in 1618. They were built by businessmen from London who came over with a Presbyterian settlement and we are the only fully intact walled city on the British Isles. These these walls are fully intact and we're one of the few remaining fully intact walled cities in Europe. So we're so incredibly lucky to have our beautiful 400 year old walls here. Shall we take a walk on what I like to call the legendary walls? Yeah. <laughs> when the businessmen from London came and they built the walls, they said that because they were building the city, building the walls, that they would name it. So they put London in front of Derry and the name of the city officially became London Derry. Now, despite a few attempts since then to try and change the name of the city back to Derry, it does officially remain as London Derry. It takes less than half an hour to walk the 1.5k walls. They stand about 8 metres high and 9 metres wide and allow a great view of the city's famous murals. This is my family business. Oh, really? So my father started this company 26 years ago. So I was very much born and raised into this business. I live and I breathe the history of this city. I really, really do. Continue south into the Republic of Ireland to see its ancient east. Uh, Ireland's ancient east really captures about 5,000 years of history in our journey of that 5,000 miles. So you will get you know, old megalithic tombs you know, dating back from 5,000 BC, but the sunlight enters the chamber on the winter solstice and lights up you know, the chamber at the very back uh, in Newgrange in County Mead, uh, a stunning uh, part of Ireland. But also then our recent Anglo-Irish history as well, some stately old homes uh, that really tell the more recent history of the last 200 years of Ireland. One of those is Cabra Castle, set on 100 acres of parklands and gardens, one of Ireland's best known wedding venues, one of the most luxurious accommodations, and also listed as the second most haunted hotel in the world. It also has the warmest welcoming committee, Oscar the Wolfhound and Lucy the Pup. A very compact journey, Ireland's Ancient East. So if you do arrive into Dublin particularly, you know, it's only a very short journey till you're in the heart of Ireland's Ancient East. What an amazing country, it was so gorgeous. Now we travel to Ireland courtesy of Ireland.com and Emirates. Now Emirates flies daily to Dublin, offering you a seamless one-stop journey while enjoying the airline's award-winning service. And it'll have you arriving like the cafe crew in perfect shape to enjoy Ireland's engaging, charming and heart-fitting experiences.